Good morning, my name is Marie Williams. I'm a police community support officer at Boston for Lincolnshire Police. I have been enrolled for 16 years and I love my job. Morning everyone, I'm Kate Hodlin. I'm the neighbourhood sergeant at Boston. I've been a police officer for 20 years and like Marie, I love my job. We're here today to ask some, answer some questions from our young community. So uh, who knows what we're going to get asked, Marie? <laughs> and we're ready. My name's Penny. I'm for, what's your favourite donut? My favourite donut is chocolate. Bye. Penny, that's a great question. And because everybody knows police officers, they do like donuts. I'm going to say that I'm very lucky working in Boston because we have a Polish bakery just round the corner from the police station and they make the biggest donuts there are and they're amazing. And in Poland, instead of having pancake day, they have donut day. So even better. For me, it has to be the strawberry and cream crispy cream. So not only is it a lovely donut, I'm getting excited now. <laughs> it's covered in a strawberry icing and inside it's not only got jam, but the cream is like a marshmallow cream. So for me, it's the strawberry cream, crispy cream donut. And Penny, you can probably guess what Marie's going to have for lunch now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hello, my name is Jake and I would like to ask, is it true that a pregnant lady is allowed to wean a police officer's hat? <laughs> Jake, brilliant, brilliant question. And it's funny because um, during my 16 years as a PCSO, I was actually, well, been pregnant twice during that time. And people out there, uh, members of the public, have actually asked me whether I've peed in my own hat, uh, which can honestly say I haven't. I've never had the need to. Um, but yeah, people have actually asked me that question before. I think it's one of those really old laws that um, probably still exists in the distant past but isn't really used. I think nowadays we just direct the lady to the nearest toilet but uh, I've, in 20 years no one's ever asked to use my hat and I'm pretty pleased actually because I won't want to use it afterwards if I'm honest. Hi I'm Theo and I'm 12 years old. How fast are you allowed to go in a police car? Wow Theo that is a good question because I know when you watch the movies we drive really fast don't we but we have to be safe when we're doing it. So although sometimes we may look like we're going super fast, we're not really. The reason for our blue lights and our sirens is so we can get through the traffic really. Because if we crash getting somewhere, we're gonna probably injure somebody else and ourselves and we're not gonna to get to help that person. So probably not much faster than normal road speeds really, but always very, very safely. My name's Larry and I'm 10 years old. Can you arrest people if you're not in your uniform? Um, so I'm a police community support officer, so I don't have full uh, powers of arrest like a regular police officer, um, but I can still make a uh, citizen's arrest and I can detain people in my role. Um, and I can do that both in uniform and out of uniform. Like Marie said, I have full what's known as warranted powers but I can arrest people out of uniform and I've always got my warrant card on me which says who I am. You can just see it there, it just says who I am and what rank I am and I work for Lincolnshire Police. So yes, but the same like Marie, I could use a citizen's arrest power as well. Hi, my name's Carla, I'm 10 years old and what do you do when you're not attending incidents? Eat donuts, no, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what do I do? When I'm not attending incidents, as a police community support officer, my role um, is to be out, uh, be visible um, in the area that I work. So that might mean that I just walk the streets and talk to the residents. I could go into a school and talk to school children, which I do quite a lot. Uh, I could drop in for a coffee morning at an old people's home. So every day is different for me and that's one of the things I love about the job. Um, and I can literally just go walk and talk and eat donuts. <laughs> so, uh, my role's slightly different to Marie. Because I'm the sergeant, I have some supervisory things I have to do. I have to make sure that all our crimes are being dealt with properly and all our antisocial behaviours being looked into properly. So slightly less exposed exciting than Marie that I do have to do some things behind the desk but like Marie I get to go out and walk and talk to people and that's lovely. Hi my name is Miguel I'm seven can you tell me what one is? 
Thank you for that question, Miguel. It's a really good question. Everybody thinks that when they ring the police, they dial 999, and that is the case if you're having a real emergency when you need police there to help you there and then. But if you don't, and it's something less serious than that, you can dial 101 and we'll get back to you a, a bit of time after that, make an appointment possibly to come and see you. My name's Amy and I'm 11 years old. If you could have any superpower to help with your job, what would it be? Oh, I know what I would have. Go on then. I would have an invisible cloak. Because then I could sneak up and see what's really happening. I like that. Yeah. I would have wings so I could fly. So I wouldn't have to get um, sat in traffic. <laughs> I could go from one job to another job quite quickly and just, it must be amazing to just be up there and look down and, and see all those beautiful things. So yeah, I'd fly with a jet pack. <laughs> what colour would a jet pack be? Oh, it's got to be pink. I was thinking pink and silver. Yeah. Hi, my name is Clayton. I'm four years old. What have you got in your vest? So, um, I've not actually got mine on right now, but um, I have my radio uh, attached to my um, vest. I also have on the other side, we have cameras now, uh, which are a really valuable uh, piece of kit. Um, so that when we go into the situation now, we can we can put the recording on, um, and it, it gathers all our evidence for us. And it also protects us. Then on my belt, I have a very basic first aid kit. I have a mouth shield, uh, a blanket, and some wipes. I also now have my hand sanitizer. Uh, I have a torch, and I have a face mask there. Um, I always carry two, uh, just in case I lose my first one. And I have an, uh, uh, an abundance of pens, because they always disappear. I do. I have a few extra things than Marie. I have my baton, which extends, so it's about this long, and we can flick it out or pull it out, and it goes to about this long. I also have my handcuffs. They're solid handcuffs, so I've got my key as well, because that could be a bit bad if I have my handcuffs and no key. And I have my parva spray, which we can spray to if people are being really, really violent with us. I also have no end of wrappers and things inside my stab vest because it has these huge zips on the front, so really I probably should tidy that out. And that's what we have. Oh, I'll tell you what I do have. I have my computer. It's a mini computer. It's a Samsung phone, and we do everything on there. So if you see a police officer on the phone now, they're probably not texting their friend. They're probably doing their work on there now, and that's in my pocket as well. Hi, my name is Gabriel. I'm six years old. What is the funniest thing you've ever seen? Good question, Marie. Do you want to go first? The funniest thing I have ever seen. I, I've seen lots and lots of funny things over the years. Um, one thing that really sticks out for me was uh, a winter's day about 10 years ago um, where I um, got a group of young people that were my local football team on the estate that I worked to join me down at um, the play area for a snowball fight. Um, so I turned up expecting about seven young people and half of the estate turned out. And when I got there, there was about 40 people, plus uh, adults, and there was three police officers um, and myself. And we just got KO'd. Um, it, it, it was really cold. <laughs> but a really, really fun shift and it's all about working together uh, with our community. So it was a really good day, funny day. Anybody that would be watching, uh, I'm sure it was very amusing to see us falling over on our bottoms uh, and being totally covered in snow by the children. I'm going to say, like Marie, I've seen lots of funny things, some of which I probably can't tell you about because they wouldn't be appropriate. But for me, one of the funniest things, I have a young child and he enjoys watching Hot Fuzz with me. And that makes me giggle because when I went to training school, we trained in a, a magical place called Sanford, which is where that's filmed. So it just makes me giggle. And I think if I was having to jump over a fence, I'd probably fall through it like the character does instead of being able to get over it. So I think that's a funny thing. Thank you very much for the questions. I've, I've really enjoyed it, have you? Yeah, I have. And I'm, I'm, I'm now thinking, should I have another superpower? I'm just, I, I want two now. Because it's not as good as my jetpack. It's not, I want a jetpack as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, thank you so much. We've, we've really enjoyed this session. Uh, great questions, uh, particularly like the donut one and the superpowers. 
Uh, but they're all great questions. Thank you so much for for taking part in that. Um, and if you want us to do it again, you up for it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll do it again. Um, so. Um, Enjoy the rest of your virtual week. Uh, I'm sure there'll be lots of other exciting things to, uh, to come across. And if you see us or any police officers out about, always give us a wave, it's really nice, we love it. If you ever want to come and talk to a police officer or a PCSO, you see us out about, come and say hi.